we made it. We're good. Yeah, fuck the apocalypse. We got a disco ball. We're just gonna party at the end of the world. Fuck it. So does Jonesy not eat bananas or how does the banana feel about that? Oh, he was in there a long time. Okay, first of all, I just want to say, if they had all that time to build the city back, he probably didn't need to sit inside of there for as long as he did. How did they reconstruct an entire city but not open this vault yet after an apocalypse? That'll pass, all right, yeah, all right, we'll do it. That'll pass upgraded, all right. I have a creator code too, by the way, if you want to use it for my monthly video. <laughs> code Jevro, by the way. All right, what's going on, guys? It's Jev, and welcome back to your bi-weekly, monthly? Tri-weekly? Welcome to your tri-weekly Fortnite video. Hey, I know for a fact there is no shortage of information that's going around here for this whole battle pass and skins and all that other shit, but just in case you haven't seen it, Fortnite Season 9 is here. I played a couple days ago playing some duos with uh, Dirty, Phase Dirty, Curtis. Other than that, I haven't had shit happening. Right, so the tier 1 skin is Rox. She has, like, I guess a bunch of different styles. Yeah, 11 different styles. She ends up upgrading into this, like, I guess Power Ranger or some shit. I don't even know. Changes a whole bunch of different colors. I wonder what the last stage is. Is. Does it change anything at all? And then the final stage just changes the color. All right, not much different, honestly. We got these ripe rippers, and it's the first time that Fortnite actually has dual pickaxes and shit. Gliders, Bunker Jonesy. Yeah, Jonesy came out of there with this giant. <laughs> he has something written on his arm. I am banned. Got this cute little futuristic cat thing. It's like a Tamagotchi or some shit. We got Vega here. She's got three different styles. Changes colors. All right. And then the last one, just like a brown and turquoise and she actually looks pretty cool. I like the style of it. Another, it's a purple cat now. Oh yeah, by the way, Fortnite ended up removing the pump. <laughs> Now, some people feel right about it, other people don't. I decided to reply and finally use a revert meme that I haven't seen anybody else use. But honestly, I was just using it because, I mean, fuck it, whatever else am I gonna get the chance to say revert again? We got Stratus here, he kind of reminds me of a uh, paint can guy, or even uh, the other dude that has the fucking hood on. It's like a gray and purple hoodie. Moniker, is that it? This one's sick though, there's no upgraded things, but it's just nice in general. Hoods are cool. We got Demi, it's an epic outfit, armed with the power of the dragon. Scarlet dragon set. Got a headset on it. I, I guess she's like special ops, she's got like a fucking Iron Man hand. That shit's pretty nice. Uh, we're at tier 90, plasma trails, some music and shit, obviously loading screens, some dances and shit. We also got the Dark Sentinel version here, which looks really cool. And then the tier 100 skin is Vendetta. Starts out as this dude, cool white hair and shit, ends up getting a hoodie with some shoulder pads, ends up getting the full head, gets his body upgrade, gets his legs and arm upgrades with this crazy shit on the side, completely blacked out, it's on his feet too, turns blue and green, and then the final one is green and pink. Interesting color combination combination but honestly battle passes it's all right. Anyway, we're just gonna go into solos here. I'm gonna shut the fuck up. Let's do it. By the way, I got a haircut. Um, I don't know what happened. I just woke up and I was just like, I'm really fucking tired of this hair. But now I got it cut a little bit shorter and I just, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing with it. I just got it cut shorter and now it's just kind of spiking in random directions. So whatever, fuck it. It's nice to not have all this shit going on on the back and the top of my head and shit. I have to worry about it. Now I could just like look messy and it doesn't fucking matter. So with them taking out the normal pump, they ended up bringing in this combat shotgun, which uh, doesn't do as much damage. Not even close to how much damage the pump would do. Now there's also Neo Tilted, Pressure Plant, a Mega Maul. I'm actually gonna go Mega Maul. Fuck this. I know everybody's gonna go Tilted, but I'm going Mega Maul. I'm still not gonna land Tilted regardless. I'm so sad that they destroyed Tilted and then brought it back just a couple days later. The game was honestly pretty interesting. Not that I played that much, but the game was pretty interesting without having people land Tilted for the few games that I did play. It seemed like everybody was like spread out everywhere. Now we got these like giant airwave things that I guess we can use to, like travel around much faster around the areas. How many other people are here? One, two, three, four. Oh, this is a nice little spot. I can stand on top of these flowers. I didn't notice. One thing about landing in these places, there's like never any mats and I'm not used to that. I'm used to like being able to just go and start farming and shit. I, 
I didn't know there was a... Alright, these air things are annoying. I tried to just build up on the thing and it just knocks me up. I, I didn't have the mats to do anything with it. Yeah, definitely a new thing with all these, like, random air ducts. And I, I guess I don't even know if, like, the actual geysers are around anymore. I'm not really sure. The tilted is just massive. The volcano is completely gone. It just, like, exploded. There's still lava, though. Back down to Mega Mall. I keep one. I'm gonna keep calling it retail. I already know. I'm gonna call it retail mall or future retail or neo retail or some shit. I already know. I'm actually gonna go and land at the little houses first big mall area is pretty crazy but i can't really do anything all right yeah man we get it you landed first these dual pickaxes feel nice i know it's just basically the same thing but it just feels better I'm gonna leave this guy because it sounds like he has a whole lot. I am not gonna bother with this man. This game is a very serious matter for him, okay? I'm just, hey, that's on you, man, for sure. Respect. This man's just reconstructing Snake Way just to keep himself safe. I, I constantly hear people flying all over the place now, so it's like... Oh, shit, he was... Like, he just kept editing. He just kept editing and editing and editing instead of actually shooting me. I kinda gotta wait and see you die. I have no idea how he had enough mats to keep doing that cheesy ass shit. These shotguns do next to no damage. I'm seeing like 72 damage at the highest. He has two HP. Please kill his ass. Fuck. Ooh. I you got shot in the head with a fucking flintlock. How were you able to just like leave the game and go to the next one after that happens to you? I, I just, I don't understand how you can do that. Oh, yeah, that's a whole lot of mobility. This man already knows how to use the air current. Stop. He's already won this season two. He's got the fucking glider and shit. No need to win anymore. You already won. The patch has been out for like a couple hours. Go to bed. Oh, you're dead. Kill his ass. Kill him. That is so fucking annoying. Now he's going to move up after someone takes his ass. God damn it! He has an RPG as well. There's no way this guy- There's no way Anonymous loses this fight! Anonymous doing Pilates, constantly crouching, creeping around. Terrified of everything that lands in front of him, but he does not quit! Only 10 left. He's just been sitting around all day in the same fucking things. Just staying safe, playing smart. Now he comes out and wants to fight when she runs away. He's gonna break down this entire fucking building and then rebuild it himself. Uh -oh. Soccer skin. He may have met his match. They're using pyramids. It's a big deal. If you use pyramids, I don't want to play. It. Ooh. He's gonna pull out that RPG. He's getting desperate. Shoots it out. He's got 17 HP left. How much he's got left? He takes her out. Anonymous destroys Anonymous. Another one coming in. He's weak. He's 17. He's weak. He only has 17 HP. He might want to just pop some of this shit out. He might get sniped. You gotta be careful. And he's running from that guy. Does not want to fight him when he's this weak. See, my ass, I just would have fought him. I mean, I would have died for it, but I would have fought him. I mean, fuck it. He's stepping up. Let's fucking go. And he's just finding every single fucking medical supply he possibly can. Like this guy. I can't tell if he's lucky or he's a... That was worth it all. Oh, that felt so good. <clears throat> Attempt number, what is this? Three, two, what do I wanna try next then? I, I remember for those few days that Tilted was gone, dude, Salty was like the new Tilted, it was disgusting. I know I was saying that people were landing all other places much more often, which was definitely true. I think it spread the map out a whole bunch more, but there were so many people that landed Salty, far too many people to actually supply all of them with things. We had full squads going here and we had like four or five full squads that landed. That's like 20 people landing, like four houses with fuck all in them. I might honestly go back to my original spot, like over here and then then use the air currents, I guess kind of travel over there or some shit, rotate out. I'm running into this weird bug that like I can't pick things up when I'm running for some reason. I have to like spam the pickup button, whereas before I literally would just have to tap. It works the same on doors and getting in vehicles and shit, I don't have to spam. But when it comes to actually picking up weapons and shit off of the floor, it's like weird. Something about these dual pickaxes makes it feel faster, even though it's not. I 
can see so many montage clips of people just getting sniped out of these things. It's gonna be hilarious. Oh, there's a guy in a ball. He tried to fucking point blank me with it. Man flew up on me with the ball and then just tried to point blank me with, I guess, like a deagle or some shit. Can I take my ball into the current? Yes, I can. Here we go, baby. <laughs> what happens when I boost in here? Can I just spin the other? I can. I can go the other way with it. This game is crazy now. There's so much verticality and shit happening. any mats for that. I thought I had way more mats than that. My fault. I shouldn't have challenged at all. I should have just stayed in my ball or just rebuilt some random building in the middle of nowhere. I don't fucking know. Why am I so dog shit? I should have shot at him and then just hopped in my ball and fucking left. Just take some shield and run. Like, what's the point? Basically suicide by me. Why would I do this? All right, one more. One more try. Oh, you got me, man! You're so good! I ground shot, he spit! Hey, yeah, I'll see you guys in another month. Check out Fortnite Season 9. New season's here. Hey, if you're good at the game, I'm sure it's fucking fun. But anyway, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. My most recent videos are popping up on the screen here. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. And, uh, yeah, it's been Jeb, guys. Later.